He was really a very powerful influence. We saw that uh, in uh, the manner in which he transformed the relationship uh, with the United States. The manner in which he imparted continuity and stability to our ties with Russia. A neighborhood where he saw all the opportunities of cooperation. All of us know uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who actively contributed to foreign policy, who even shaped foreign policy as a parliamentarian. So for many of us who actually followed foreign policy debates in the public domain, in the parliament, uh, he was really a very powerful influence well before he became foreign minister. Now, uh, I, of course, have a particular reason to remember him as foreign minister. When I joined the foreign service, he was the first foreign minister I had the privilege uh, of uh, meeting. But when we look back at his contributions as prime minister, as foreign minister, as a parliamentarian, as someone who really shaped the larger Indian national security and public policy discourse. There are different aspects that come to mind. One which I think the film brought out uh, was, in a sense, the, the, what today we would call cultural rebalancing, which is projecting India's culture, history, traditions on an international stage. But as a practitioner, uh, I think what uh, is particularly important and today very relevant to note is how much, you know, how developed and nuanced his understanding was of the, world, of the contemporary world, the world in which he operated. And quite apart from the statecraft which is involved in leading a nation like India, the realism that, uh, that really characterized uh, many of his decisions uh, and approaches. Uh, we saw that uh, in uh, the manner in which he transformed the relationship uh, with the United States uh, in the, in the post-Cold War uh, environment, recognizing really how much more important and consequential that relationship had become for Indian national interest. The manner in which he imparted continuity and stability to our ties with Russia. Uh, and uh, really, one looks at that period, uh, starting from the time when he was foreign minister till you know, his prime ministership and beyond, that in a, uh, at a time when so many you know, important relationships in the world were changing, there was a very unique steadiness about the India-Russia relationship, and I think a lot of it had to do with the, with the uh, personal understanding and the efforts which were made uh, by Prime Minister Vajpayee. Then again, if you look at you know, trying to reach a modus vivendi with China, the, the fundamental basis for that, that this has to be on the basis of mutual respect, mutual sensitivity, mutual interest, which we articulate today. I think a lot of it was visible. Going back to the period, going back to actually the then Foreign Minister Vajpayee's visit to China. And of course, our own neighborhood, a neighborhood where he saw all the opportunities of cooperation, but was never impervious to the challenges of terrorism. His realism in using all instruments at his command to actually try to forge a, a basis of, uh, re, you know, of relationships in this region which would very explicitly abjure terrorism. So there is, there is so much that can be said about him. Uh, of course, for all of us, uh, especially in the national security domain, we associate him most of all with the 1998 nuclear tests, uh, with the fact that we became a nuclear weapon power. But to all of you, I would urge you to look not just as the test. Please look 
and reflect on the diplomacy that followed the test. The fact that within a space of two years after that test, we had engaged all the major countries of the world, had actually brought them around. So when you had a visit of a President Clinton or a Prime Minister Howard or a Prime Minister Mori uh, or, uh, you know, the, the visit of President Chirac, uh, it was actually the post-test diplomacy which is something which I think anybody who is in the field of diplomacy should really look at uh, and seek to draw lessons. And I can tell you at that time, I myself was posted in Japan. Uh, and it was, a, it was a relationship which was particularly affected uh, by the nuclear test. But we always drew from the Prime Minister the confidence that we would find a way of settling it down. And indeed, today, when I look at that relationship, uh, I marvel at the wisdom and the maturity with which, uh, you know, Prime Minister Vajpayee got all of us to look at that particular challenge.